Hi guys, welcome back to my latest video. <clears throat> Card Monster vs Pro with the show in the Hard Times Knockout Single Elimination Race to Seven Racks. I'll wait a break. Uh, it's been a, an interesting, um, interesting week. I've been too well. Uh, I've been been pretty poorly to be honest um, what it was I was a bit worried because I thought I might actually have COVID because um, what it was is that a friend of mine who um, who I'm good mates with I hadn't obviously seen him for ages because I'm not allowed to meet up but I'd, I'd passed him in the street and we'd stood talking for a bit um, st stood two metres apart or what I think was two, two, two metres apart and then a few days later he got in touch saying didn't feel very well and I ended up helping him through a through through a test over the phone on Skype. Anyway, his test came back positive. And I'm thinking, oh shit, he was right in front of me. Um <clears throat> anyway, not long after that, he said he was just feeling a bit washed out, exhausted, a uh, bit, bit flu y he had a little bit of a cough, but nothing too bad. And he was just a bit, you know, just just a bit slow, was off work, isolating and so on. Anyway, a couple of days, maybe three or four days later, I started to have the same thing. A bit of a headache, feeling a bit weak, just generally feeling lousy, starting to get a little bit kind of, <clears throat> which is what I am now. And I'm thinking, oh God, it's a carbon copy of what he's got. So straight away I had a test, came back negative. I'm thinking, oh, cool. Um, so anyway, I've, I've, but basically I've just felt pretty crap all week and almost identical symptoms to him, but he's got COVID and I apparently haven't. Only today, really, have I felt anywhere near normal. I've had, so I've had a pretty lousy week, and to be honest, for about three or four days in the middle of this week, I felt truly, truly terrible. Um, like, just really, <laughs> that's a lucky shot. Apologies, Steve. <clears throat> I just felt really, really poorly. Um, and absolutely delighted to, to be starting to feel better. Uh, so I'm pleased to be more back on my feet now. Um, but that's why there hasn't been that many many videos. You probably didn't notice because I think I've managed to maintain a decent schedule of them. But uh, yeah, just just feeling really lousy. But I'm getting back. I'm pleased I'm getting slightly better um, and feeling good. So yeah, good news on that. But mate's getting getting better, um, and I'm looking forward to getting the getting the vaccine ASAP. I'm not one of these anti-vax people. Some of my family are. I'm afraid to say saying that they would have rushed it and this and that but I don't know I, I wish they would have it personally I think better the devil you know you know there's no credible person everyone saying it's okay you know if you want to find conspiracies there's only everything to pick from in the world but I respect your right to choose I just think that you've got to be honest with yourself and, and make sure that you're being consistent damn I'm getting a bit lucky here. That was a lucky shot. <clears throat> so I'm winning 2 0 here. But anyway, that's the update. Still got a little bit of it, <clears throat> but I'm not sure if that's more psychological because I am a bit of a hypochondriac, to be honest. I do get health anxiety. Uh, oh, that's a bad shot. That's a really bad shot. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of, you know, it felt like things were getting in the way because people like Gary and Tom have made comments in the comments about, you know, saying, oh, you know, people know that I've got. Time pressures in terms of elections have confirmed that's going ahead in May. You know, time will tell if, if I get elected to that. I'm quite comfortable, to be honest, making a new start in something. That could be enough, you know. It hasn't got the legs. It would have been, though. <clears throat> um, I'm just more interested in, in balance, really, in life and just feeling happy. So if that comes in a, a different form to what I do now, I'm okay with that, guys. I really am really am oh I was going to say that didn't drop man um, but yeah at the minute there's no other income so obviously that's a bit of a pain uh, so I need that sorting out yeah knew I'd overcut that oh, come on had a game before <clears throat> um, where I was uh, well I didn't actually record it I forgot that I was going to it was against myself in the last tournament you guys might remember for those of you who watch every video um, that was going to play with myself and one, one funny comment got made there um, I, I lost 13-5 absolutely panned because I just didn't pop a ball and 
I pledge to post just about everything, but there's a limit where if I play so badly, I might have missed. <sighs> just. Um, then I just wouldn't do it to myself. Now, this one I'm gonna go thick into the cushion with a bit of right, because I don't want to... Well, that's a good shot. I'm very unlucky actually what's happened there. Because I can't actually cut this, so I'm just gonna play it with a little bit of bottom and do that. And hopefully not hit the black too far away so it lets it pass. You might jump at this, yeah. Well, that's a chronic, oh my God. Great shot by Steve. And then he plays the double just to sort of break my heart slightly. <clears throat> oh, two doubles. Huh, nice. And I want to give a shout out to Jeeves actually, uh, a long time supporter of the channel, who said that if you're playing Mad Max and you want to neutralize his powers, you play him on tight pockets. Now, my comment to Jeeves was, I like it, <laughs> I like the challenge, but guys, if you want an easier challenge, you can take away a few of his powers by, by playing them on the on the tight pockets, but if you really want a challenge, check out the, ah, that was a, so the way to do it is to line up the pot and then just jack it up, pull it back slightly, watch for any turn and deliver, and you should be close. <clears throat> And uh, there you go. So yes, we're gonna go for this because we are that crazy. So that feels right. That looks, feels good. We are overcutting most things tonight. Don't know what's going on. Is this my like pool version of long COVID? Oh, come on. That's gonna be in, I think. No, no he's missed that by a mile. <clears throat> so here I think it's easier just to screw past the nine and just make a complete meal of it. I got very lucky there, very, very lucky. So here I can't even um, leave myself an easy shot. And uh, what do we do here? I think we've got to stun this through. These are my favorite shots in real life. If you ever want to look good with cue ball control, just do those little punchy stuns. They look really cool. I didn't actually do that right. Now here it's all about the pot because you're gonna muscle memory the um, The, what's the word, the, the weight of the shot. And uh, slightly un under did that one. Cool, 3-3, three, three. so I feel like I'm back in. I feel like I'm, I'm potting a little bit weird tonight. Oh, and uh, I thought that was a nine. <laughs> so apparently, <clears throat> in other news, we're getting quite a lot of snow. Oh no, that, oh my god, that's so lucky. Actually, it's unlucky. <laughs> We're getting a lot of snow coming. Um, do you know, I'm not actually sure what to do here. I think I've got to hit this, but the harder I hit it... Well, the seven could be a saving, the seven could be a saviour here, because wherever I leave the red... See, I can't just tap it because I leave the combo on. That's probably not far away from being decent. I went for distance, which is never, it's always a danger when you play a snooker and he's actually made this harder, just to go for distance because that works in snooker, but it's not actually a good idea in pool. Uh, now here I'm gonna try and go on the cushion and stun into the seven from there. The only thing that can go, well, many things can go wrong, but hitting the nine thin. Yeah, didn't want to hit it thin and going off in the bottom, but now I've made it worse. Mm. Not really sure what to do here, guys, to be honest with you. I might put the eight. Well, if I'd been a bit more of a a brave guy, I might have got that one, but if he pots a worldy here, then good luck to him. But if he does that, then that's all right. Now here I'm just gonna just pot them both, it's the easiest way. 
I didn't mean that, but obviously, as long as I didn't follow it in with the white, I was all right. So 4-3. Uh, now this one's a very skewed rack, as you can see, massively off, off center. You just see how off center that is when you look at where the straight line is. So this one, straight through the one here, and we should get some action on the balls. Don't think we've potted anything though. Oh, we have. We got lucky there. So here, I'm just gonna play safe. Um, it's actually hard to stay behind. Well, I've made a meal of it. <clears throat> he can pot that, it's an easy jump. Well, I fouled it. Now, uh, I'm gonna try and hit the nine. Play it in such a way where if I miss it on one way, I might hit it on the back the other, but I haven't. So here, I'm just gonna keep it safe. Now he's on two fouls, so it's always the temptation to try and get the three fouls. I'm not sure if I've ever had a three foul in this career mode, but I don't chase those stars to be honest. Um, that's a good shot. Now here it's a preference of whether you go round. That's why I don't like going round, because I tend to do that wrong. But we get away with it. That's a bad shot as well. Doesn't look bad, but I lost the white completely from what I was trying to do there. <clears throat> now I'm gonna try and play safe here. I want the yellow up table, white behind the green. Oh, got one part of that right, but not the other. Need to hit it much harder. Oh, and he flukes the red. It's got a bit of a problem here getting on the five. Yeah, got there eventually. That could be a bit of a turning point in this match. That was a rack that I think in real life most people wouldn't have got but what he's done is left me with the combo and given the state of the last clearance i'm going to take it i've got them both no i haven't doesn't matter though so six four up with a race to seven is never a bad thing and the nine is not in oh and i <laughs> thought for a second there so quick look and the seven is the problem um The touch on the four might help me, you know, because I might be able to screw into this. Just tap it on, on the way past. I missed it. That was poor. Mm, so here I'm going to try and go behind the seven and the eight. <clears throat> and I've left it. But he's, he's got the same problem. Done it well. Yeah, that was always the issue and wasn't able to go at the well. So hopefully. So we managed to win that particular round. Fabulous. We see further progress being made and our next match is against Bobby I'm still making progress in these tournaments and uh, like I say batter I got the quarter final of the Masters so I'm, my players doing well so guys yeah uh, what I'm going to do is record another video now and then so in two days time you're going to get this video so I'm going to keep going but as far as this video is concerned thank you for watching